Shalom and welcome to PowerPoint. You know, yesterday we were talking about being awake or awakened. One of the things that puts us to sleep is when we don't feel clean, when we, we have sin or perceive sin or mentally, most of all, we create our own guilt. I should have done this, I should have done that, and, and we start nursing and rehearsing. And a scripture out of Job really addresses this. It says in Job 8, uh, 6, it says, if you, if you were pure and upright, surely now he would awaken for you and prosper your right, rightful dwelling place. Prosper your rightful dwelling place. He says, surely if you're pure, you would be awakened to the fact that your dwelling place in this human body would be one of righteousness and you would be awakened. So I want to share with you that as a born-again, blood-bought Christian, you are the righteousness of Christ. You have been washed in the blood. Your sins, your sins, please hear me, your sins have been expunged. This day by the blood, I speak forgiveness over you. I speak that you are the forgiven of the Lord, that the accuser of the brethren would not be able to lie, cheat, and steal, and make you feel unclean that you could not awaken. What Job was saying that being sleepy or slumbered in your mental alertness has to do with being too much sin conscious, not righteousness conscious. So Father God, in the name of Yeshua, we release the consciousness of the righteousness of Messiah that's in us. We choose Matthew 6 and 33. We seek ye first the kingdom of God. We decree his righteousness in our life. And now we also decree that all other things shall come unto thee, dwell in thee, around thee, and about thee. That we are the prosperous of the Lord. We are blood-bought. We are sanctified once and for all. And we tell the enemies of our soul and the enemies in the atmosphere that we bind you and we cast you down in the name of Jesus because we are righteous in him. I'll see you tomorrow.